Greetings and welcome to the final review of the Sonic Mega Man crossover. We have come a long way since April, and now the journey is about to end. Where we last left off, Sonic and Mega Man have been captured by Doctors Eggman and Wily, and they revealed their plan to use all seven Chaos Emeralds to change their worlds completely to their liking. And the Doctors are gloating that they've beaten their nemeses. Sure, the Blue Heroes made it through some of their traps and enemies, but they're still imprisoned, and anyone that can help them is busy fighting enemies outside. Thankfully, the Heroes get some much-needed help from these guys. Finally, the excuse is Roll contacted them after Sonic, Mega Man, and company uh, first went through the portal, and it took them a while to assemble. Regardless, their arrival allows some of the group to head into the Wily Egg to help Sonic and Mega Man, namely Dr. Light, Rush, Proto Man, and Knuckles. Dr. Wily explains to Mega Man that his interaction with Eggman opened his eyes to world-altering possibilities, while Sonic chastised Eggman for screwing over with reality again. And this leads to a uh, panic from Wily about breaking their worlds. Eggman explains that with the Seven Chaos Emeralds and the Super Genesis Wave, the world damage would be moot, and they can recreate their world as they see fit. The timely arrival of the Red Heroes and Dr. Light silenced the Doctors. Light frees Sonic and Mega Man and head over to the Genesis Chamber, but not before Mega Man and Rush initiate the Super Adapter for additional power. Eggman and Wily make it to the Egg Wily Machine X, and as they are about to attack, it turns out that the Doctors sabotaged each other's controls. Oops. They explain to each other how to repair the sabotage before Proto Man and Knuckles take them out. And shortly, the final boss machine is back online. And Eggman and Wily decide to call a truce until the fight is over. While it's too late to sabotage the Super Genesis Wave, Sonic has another idea involving the Chaos Emeralds. Enter Super Sonic and Super Mega Man. In the brief moment Eggman and Wily are wetting themselves, the Super Genesis Wave is spreading outward. Nevertheless, it's final boss time, complete with more Daka and energy shields from the bad guys, and lots of super pounding from the good guys. Super Sonic explains to Super Mega Man not to hold anything back, and, well, Mega Man agrees. A combined super attack finishes off the Egg Wily Machine X, and that there is a worthy brofist. Sonic walks Mega Man through the process of using Chaos Control to restore the world to normal. Wily is wallowing in his defeat, but Eggman will not go down like a chump and interrupts Sonic's attempt at Chaos Control. The final words between Sonic and Mega Man are to take care of his universe, and Mega Man does. He is going home, folks. Sonic tries to Chaos Control, but Eggman, who doesn't want the Hedgehog to win, fires a blast, interrupting the process, and Sonic himself said it. What did Eggman do? What did he do? And this is where the crossover ends, people. Oh boy, where to start? I guess with the appearance of the original eight Robot Masters. Again, it's about time, but it would also be nice to have them appear earlier in the story. But at the very least, it allows a small group of heroes to help Sonic and Mega Man. Eggman and Wily sabotaging each other at the same time. Uh, awkward and anger does not begin to describe their situation at that moment. The fight between Super Sonic, Super Mega Man, which I am amazed but not surprised at the possibility, versus the Egg Wily Machine X. It definitely has a final boss feeling, and why can't this be a video game? For the most part, I think it works. And I'm not dissing uh, Proto Man and Knuckles, they had their moment in the sun, so um, you gotta give them credit for that. Now, uh, some final references include an image of Mecha Sally with a robot-sized Sonic, Super Adapter Mega Man from uh, Mega Man 7, of course, a brief cameo from Chaos Zero, and uh, as the Doctors are instructing each other to fix the sabotages, they reference uh, Battle and Chase and MBM. Battle and Chase refers to the racing game Mega Man Battle and Chase. MBM is a uh, reference to the puzzle game Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Yeah, you'd miss that if you don't understand the uh, acronyms or something. Because the Egg Wily Machine X is a combo of Wily Machine Number 9 and Death Egg Robot, they would use ordinances from both. The eggs are from Wily Machine uh, Number 9, 
and the Eggman bombs are obviously from the Death Egg robot. They appear only if you somehow get behind said robot in the games. And now, the big moment, the ending. For those who follow the Archie Sonic comics and uh, have seen or uh, heard about the four-part Genesis arc and how it ended, you would think it would be a uh, repeat, right? Oh, uh, sort of. Mega Man succeeded in restoring his world to normal. However, Sonic was not so lucky this time thanks to Eggman. It makes this ending bittersweet. And I also understand that it creates a little cliffhanger of sorts to allow new readers to pick up the Sonic comics to see what happens next. Now I'm going to give this part an 8.5 only because the story just stops. And I'm going to end this review here. But I will make a final video discussing my overall thoughts on the crossover. So until then, bye bye now.